Hi there, this is Huha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. So we start with an update of the Champions League results with the completion of Match Day 1. As you can tell, we've got no budget. Alright, Manchester City made a lukewarm debut to their Champions League appearance where neither Sergio Aguero, Edin Dzeko, Carlos Tevez, Samir Nasri or David Silva or even Adam Johnson bagged the equaliser. It was Alexander Korolov to the rescue with a well-taken free kick. While the other Group A tie, Bayern Munich ensured that they lead the group with a win in Spain. The shock result of match day one has to be Turkish outfit Trabzonspor who held 2010 champions Inter Milan until 40 minutes from time, then slammed the nail into the coffin to claim a famous win for them. Our featured team yesterday, Olatul uh, Gulati, did uh, reasonably well but lost to Basel, who now lead Group C after United only managed to draw against Benfica. Old man Ryan Giggs was responsible for United's equaliser after having gone behind to a first-half goal by Oscar Cardozo. While, and finally, Real Madrid started their title chase with a win. Okay, time to move on to our Thursday feature, the English Championship. Oops, I sorry, forgot to close our Champions League featured segment. Guys? English Championship updates, Brighton and Middlesbrough chopped away wins last weekend to remain unbeaten, while Southampton and Nottingham Forest played one of the games of the season, each exchanging leads in the course of the game, with eventually the Saints went marching on with a Ricky Lambert hat-trick. West Ham earned their first home win in six months in another seesaw match where Portsmouth were reduced to 10 men. I know Harry Redknapp would have been watching that game. And another fantastic result proved that this is one of the tightly contested leagues as Leeds came from a goal down to put two past Crystal Palace in an 11-minute spell to win it by 3-2. Elsewhere, it was home wins for Coventry, Cardiff and Blackpool while Hull and Watford claimed away wins. In the table, Brighton have a slight edge but it's still all to play for between those listed in yellow as they are all in that position with a chance for promotion to the Premier League. But it's still early days with just six matches played. But the entertainment on the page has been nothing short of exciting. Let's see what we can look forward to in this weekend's lineup. The unbeaten teams play away again, but it's Middlesbrough Crystal Palace the one to look for this weekend. Blackpool versus Cardiff 2 should be interesting with a sixth travelling to seventh. Leeds, I believe, will be in the top 10 next week if they can get a win over Bristol City and Birmingham go down to Southampton on Sunday, which I think they will. Ipswich and Coventry face each other on Monday night. And that's a wrap for today. Until tomorrow where we will look ahead to the Premier League weekend, I'm Patrick on behalf of the team saying thanks for logging on, but it's bye for now.